And welcome to Garbar Plays. We had some technical issues on our box opening of Double Master, so we're going to do a quick recap video of all the hits we had. After Gary pulled the uh, Force of Will, Full Art Foil, everything just went to, went to shit. The computer couldn't handle it. The computer couldn't handle it, so um, we didn't properly record the box opening of the normal Double Masters box, but uh, what we'll do now is we'll just quickly uh, go through all of the the rares and mythic rares that uh, that we got. So this, we'll start with the with the known big hits, and then we'll go through the rest of the pile. If we think you think someone's a bigger hit than we and th than than we know of, let us know. Yeah, because a lot of these cards we're not entirely familiar with since. Um, but these are for older formats. Older formats. Yeah. First first time that we've like forayed into uh, masters territory. Yeah. So the first card was a Thought Seize, obviously played in multiple formats, and a Foil Exploration, very cool commander card, mostly. Here's a nice, we'll save these for last, they, they were the box toppers. Yeah, this is well, this is my favorite hit of the box. Big hit of the box, Jace, Jace the Mind Sculptor, which is a very fun card uh, since Gary and myself started playing in the Zendikar block with the original release of Jace, so cracking one was pretty cool. Yeah. And we hit... Traxa. A Traxa, super powerful commander. A foil Imperial Recruiter, which is a cool, very good um, commander card. And then we hit some of the, uh, some lands. The Mystic Gate. We unfortunately didn't hit the Dark Depths, but we did get the uh, Thespian Stage. A Twilight Mire. I need one of those. A Rugged Prairie. A Flooded Grove. And a uh, Academy Runes, which is which is good. Yep. And one more. And then one more land. A lot of lands. Wooded Bastion. Lands are about ten bucks each about, so. Overall, the value of the box was kind of um, probably all, probably like average. average. Yeah. Like uh, we we did better than um, some. The values, the value of the polls is worth more than what we paid for the box. So yeah. not bad. So box topper number one, the alternate art stone stoneforge mystic, really? beautiful card. Yep, really cool card. Happy to pull that. I still have one of the originals from way back when. Also printed in the Zendikar block, I think. Yes, it was. Same with this card as well. Worm, Worm Coil, Coil Engine. Engine. Box Topper. Oof. I am jealous about that one card. Cause really cool card. Really cool art. It's a it's a great card in Commander. So those were the big hits from the box, as far as we know. Yeah. This and is the. Then, this is what. This is just the rest. So. so this this is that's like that's like those are as good as you can do, and then this is what you'll probably end up getting. <laughs> We got a dual caster mage. We got a a Rix Memphis. We got a progenitor mimic. Foil, and there's another one. There's a normal one in there as well. And a voice of resurgence. And a Sharoom the hegemon. I swear to God, it sounds like you're talking about did you want? Yeah. Swift blade vindicator. Which is like some of these cards you would if you're paying twenty dollars for a pack, some of these cards you'd be very disappointed yeah. in hitting. A uh, Maelstrom Pulse. Progenitor Mimic. Twenty dollars is about Canadian price, so yeah. cheaper American, but like you still you still feel bad like if you're paying like Savage Born Hydra. So exercise caution if you're going out buying uh, packs of these. Meddling Mage. Mazarek. Especially that meddling mage did not want to hit that. The meddling mage box topper, like full art, whatever, full art foil box topper. Some people are cracking them in that slot in their VIP packs, and it's going for like, like sixteen bucks. Yeah. So, Gary, I love his green pulls. To be honest, I'm jealous. I I want to build a Garrick, mono green Garrick commander. Oh yeah, Terastodon. Just that'd, a fun card. That'd be a good card for the deck, actually. Some Court of Calling. Same with that card, yeah. A box you do feel like you just get a pile of rares. Which, in that if box. you play Commander, this is a great set. Shamanic Revelation. 
once we're done this video, Gary and I are gonna build some decks with these, place some sealed. Doom's Necromancer. We didn't notice any printing errors. Uh, miscuts. Miscuts or anything like that. But Which we've, we've see, heard about. Like Oh, Avacyn. Yeah. I, I put the, I, they're all so, so sorted by color, but they, there's the standard Stoneforge. And system. another Stoneforge. I, I'm very happy. Uh, you know, Stoneforge and Jace, those are kind of great cards to pull if we're going into... A popular, it looks like Azorius Control in Modern is playing these cards, so I'm happy about that. I still, uh, I still have a Modern deck uh, from way back. I built, uh, but I built Budget Hammers. Oh yeah, with that that giant, the Colossal Hammer. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that would make it funnier is if I could put, uh, if I went splashed green for Colossification and made it a forty forty. <laughs> And somehow gave it trample, be like, yeah, 40 40 would trample. Looks like a very, like, looks like a super fun limited environment. No, but the blues. Look at this. Brain. Master of Ethereum. Master Transmuter, which is a cool card. Like, but come on. Cyclonic Rift. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Sword of Light and Shadow. The Happy cheapest, about that. The cheapest of the swords, but still I'm a great pull regardless. Yeah, swords are fun. Masterwork of Ingenuity. Engineered Explosives. And my arm's getting sore. <laughs> Hammer of... Oh, what does that say? Nazan. Yeah, Hammer Nazan. And, and, fi and finally, Endless Atlas. There's your thing. Uh, and uh, uh, in the commons and uncommon slot, we did open a couple. Uh, we opened the Urza lands, um, an Oubliette, a couple of braids. So you know, it, there there is some pretty pretty good stuff in those. Some pretty, uh, pretty good, some pretty nice foils. Like an Urza mine foil. Overall, um, happy. I paid on the low end. We 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 ended up getting the box for three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah. So. Uh, it wasn't, uh, I wouldn't have wanted to spend, you know, 450 or $500 in crack a box like this. So the price was high, but overall it feels like a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good pull, pretty good pull, pretty good return. And we're going to have some fun playing with these cards. Yeah. We will be back with, uh, some more box openings. I got the new Pokemon set coming up. Uh, we got, I got some Vanguard coming down the road. And of course we got the, uh, Zendikar Rising coming up, which we're probably going to open up a, a quite a bit of that, I think, because... Uh, yeah, it's Zendikar. It's Zendikar. There's Jace's... Uh, there's going to be a new Jace. And it's going to be... And he's going to see... I'll, I'll play it through all standard. He's yeah. Gonna, it's Jace. We're going to have to see what these set boosters are all about. There's, yeah, there's the set boosters. There's the draft boosters. There's the collector's boosters. Uh, you get a lot bundles, of tempting... A lot bundles of tempting and purely skits. So there's like five different products... We'll probably be opening at least four of them because we'll probably each do a pre-release kit, maybe one or maybe two. Uh, definitely a, a set booster, of probably a theme uh, draft booster as well. I definitely we're going to do a bundle. We'll open a bunch of it. Yeah. All right. Take so it take easy. Take it easy. Stay frosty. Stay frosty.